In the first week of April 2020, President Donald Trump in his daily White House coronavirus briefings talked about an anti-malarial drug, hydroxychloroquine, as a treatment against COVID-19. Quoting a questionable French study, he said that we don't have time to go and take a couple of years to test it out. He also added that the US has amassed 29 million doses of this drug. Meanwhile, Dr. Anthony Fauci, the country's top infectious disease doctor, has repeatedly warned that there is no conclusive evidence to support using this drug. The story of how hydroxychloroquine became a wonder drug for the coronavirus pandemic is a modern tale of misinformation due to widespread uncertainty, fear, and media fragmentation. Hello and welcome to Med Simplified. Today we'll be talking about the demand miracle drug of the R, hydroxychloroquine. What is it? How does it work? Does it really help against COVID-19? And the most important question, should you take it? Hydroxychloroquine is a medication used to prevent and treat malaria across the globe, especially in the Southeast Asia regions and the South American regions. Other uses of hydroxychloroquine include treatment of rheumatoid arthritis, lupus, and porphyria cutanea tarda. It is one of the possible treatments that scientists in China and South Korea looked at in at the early stage of the coronavirus outbreak. Experiments were promising but conclusive results were not available. The drug was also selected by the World Health Organization and it included it in its large scale international clinical trial. However, we are not including COVID-19 in this list because currently there is no conclusive evidence to support using the drug for COVID-19 patients. In early March, as the coronavirus pandemic accelerated its spread around the globe, a group of scientists in Marseille, France, launched an experiment to see whether hydroxychloroquine, a well-known old malaria drug, could be that what everyone was searching for, a cure for corona. Before the study was even published, in the International Journal of Antimicrobial Agents IGAA, a lawyer falsely claiming an affiliation with Stanford University appeared on prime time news in USA and declared the results. He falsely claimed that hydroxychloroquine has 100% cure rate against coronavirus. This false news spread like wildfire. Scientists called out the false claims, but it was too late. Across the globe and throughout diverse communities on the internet, hydroxychloroquine was anointed the miracle cure for COVID-19. If you have followed our previous two videos on vaccines, you may remember the term clinical trials. The goal of a clinical trial is to determine two things, whether the drug works or not, and is it safe or not. To prevent any kind of false and inaccurate results, clinical trials have a set of rules that need to be followed by the researchers. Neither the physician nor the patient knows whether they are receiving the drug or not. This is known as double blinding. The researchers also do not get to choose which patients go into which group and this is known as randomization. The makeup of the two groups is roughly equivalent. That is why it is known as a controlled study. The French hydroxychloroquine study did not follow any of these rules. The study was flawed and the results were inaccurate and meaningless. Initially, they selected 42 patients and out of them, two left the study and four had bad outcomes. The other 36 eventually recovered and those who received the drug cleared the virus from the system faster than those who did not. Six were excluded from the top line results and they were left out of the final analysis. Based on just 36 patients who completed the study, those who received the drug cleared the virus from their system faster than those who did not. This is how there was a false 100% cure rate. In fact, on April 3, two weeks after the study was published, the International Society of Antimicrobial Chemotherapy said in a statement that the group's board believes the article does not meet society's expected standard, especially relating to the lack of better explanation of the inclusion criteria and the triage of patients to ensure patient safety. This raises huge questions about the validity of the results and whether or not they should be followed. Meanwhile, scientists and physicians continue to study the effect of the drug. Another group of French researchers published a document on 30th March. The researchers at St. Louis Hospital in France 
followed the same regime of hydroxychloroquine for 11 patients and they did not find any results which were similar to those seen in the previous controversial study topics. We found no evidence of a strong antiviral activity or clinical benefit of hydroxychloroquine and azithromycin for the treatment of our hospitalized patients with severe COVID-19, they wrote. But another study, this time a randomized controlled trial out of Wuhan, China, has sparked. A trial containing 62 patients with mild cases of COVID-19 was done. Researchers found out that the patients who were treated with hydroxychloroquine recovered faster than those who did not and none of them progressed to severe illness. Now the burning question of the hour. Should you take hydroxychloroquine for COVID-19? Well. At MedSimplified, we believe that any medication taken without guidance of a trained medical professional can have grave consequences. Like in case of hydroxychloroquine, the drug is known to cause various side effects such as heart rhythm problems, severe low blood pressure and muscle or nerve damage. Sadly, few cases of overdoses have also been reported in US and Nigeria as some frightened individuals attempted to self-medicate. Do not take hydroxychloroquine unless advised by a healthy professional under supervision. Let the decision of whether hydroxychloroquine is to be used or not to be taken by the medical professional after thorough research and a fair conclusive trial. So this was all about hydroxychloroquine. If you want to support Med Simplified, you can do it by supporting it on patreon.com for literally the price of a coffee cup. Check all the links below in the description bar. This helps us hire more people for our team and make better videos for you guys only. Thank you so much for watching.